Death is obsolete. Quote, Death as a concept is preposterous in the face of infinite effulgence of being. End quote. Source unknown. From a quantum perspective, death is actually a rearrangement, a reassignment of particles and waves. But death in the way it's used in casual social parlance means the end of a living organism's lifespan. I had a wonderfully bizarre conversation with a channeled entity uh, calling itself Antar one afternoon back in 1991. I had asked the entity if my lifespan was predictable. You know, that question most psychics get, when am I going to die? <laughs> Antar replied, dying is a hallowed tradition amongst you humans. It is a way to escape commitments, prove a point, give up, and stop playing the game. I countered, so we humans don't have to die? If we wanted to, we could just live as long as we wanted? And before I had completed that sentence, Antar barged in, Of course, of course. But there is much to unravel here. There are hundreds of generations of DNA programming to prove to you that death is as inevitable as taxes. It chuckled. But no, you don't have to leave your body, nor do you have to age. That too is a social meme, a moray, an accepted value, a way of constructing a character around an ego a way of using time to validate self. I didn't really have anywhere else to go with the conversation, so I changed the subject. But Antar's words stuck in my craw, and every time I start mulling over my mortality, Antar is standing there waving his finger. <laughs> uh, this week, Deepak Chopra published an article on SFGate magazine called Practical Immortality. In it, he stresses the point that consciousness cannot be non-existent. It always has been and always will be conscious. It is the basic fundamental property of experience, the physical universe, and all dimensions beyond this one. Within this context, the concept of death is exposed as an extreme example of duality. As Alan Watts said, death implies life since death would be meaningless without life. In the social human world, we have languaged and defined life as not death, focusing cultural attention on the end of life being the reason for living. On the face of it, it makes a kind of slavish sense, but universally and from a non-dualistic view, it's absurd. If we can turn this around so that death exists alongside life, it makes much more sense and becomes something we can work with. Life no longer is defined by death, no longer defined by lifespan. Instead, death becomes a useful agent for change, a way to transform life and transcend the death-obsessed ego. In most cultures is the idea or tradition of the midlife crisis, seemingly brought on by becoming aware of one's mortality. This is how we program our minds, our DNA, and those around us into carrying on this fine tradition of mortal fear, body death, emotional loss, and suffering. We live our lives under the auspices of being a contribution to society while we're still alive to create a legacy and generally use death to motivate and worship our ego. In the face of the effulgence of infinite being, these concepts, traditions, and cultural habits become obsolete, and by contextualizing living as an everlasting sequence of experiences and expressions of form, we arrive much closer to the cosmic truth about existence, a truth that is informed by infinite possibilities, choices, freedom, and joy. We choose to live in this form. We choose to live as boundless expressions of creation, untethered by such mundane slavish concepts as lifespan, or mortality. By living a life without end, we send a message to our DNA to continually repair and regenerate, and we embrace the nourishing impossibility of non-existence. We have always been here and will always be here. It's the inescapable essence of life. 
You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.